Hey guys, this is Mike McKinstry with Bass Watch Hunter TV. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do CPR photos in kayak fishing tournaments. So one of the biggest problems people have when they first start doing kayak fishing tournaments or if they're even better in kayak fishing tournaments is keeping fish on their board without losing them and getting a good enough picture to be judged correctly in a tournament. I have a few tips here that I'm going to help you guys out to keep more fish on the boat and more fish on the board. First thing, use a net when you catch a fish like this little guy right here. Use a net. It'll help you for a lot of reasons. Get my bait out of the way. So now I got this fish. I got to get him on the board. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put him back in my net. Put my net in the water. In this case, my net floats. So I'm going to let my net float with that fish in the net. measuring device, which in this case is the Yakir fish stick. I'll pull out the board and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in the water. Now the reason why I do this is to get the board wet because a dry board, the fish will stick to it a little bit more. It might be hot. It's not going to be comfortable for the fish. It's going to make them want to jump more. So I always dip the board in the water to make it wet first. Now that the board is wet, I'm going to angle it down. So I'll get my fish. So one of the biggest reasons why I put the fish back in the net is so he's tired. So it wears him out, he gets all of his energy out in the net, so now he doesn't want to flip as much. So I'll take my board, I'm going to angle it down. So notice how the fence of the board, which this is called a fence right here, I'm going to angle it down so it's like this. So the fence is lower than the rest of the board. This helps the fish calm down by letting all the blood rush to the head of the fish instead of the tail. So I'll put my thumb under his bottom fins and I'll put my middle finger right on the top of his top fin. So I'll hold the fish like this. As you notice, the fish is calm. He's happy, he's comfortable. There's no problem at all. So then I'll get out my phone. I'll have it ready on camera already and I'll take a lot of pictures. So I'll take pictures like this and I'll just keep on snapping them over and over and over all the way around the fish. I'll go backwards, I'll go forwards, I'll make sure I'm right on top of the fish. I'll make sure that I look down, make sure the fish's mouth is closed, I'll make sure the tail is flat against the board, and I'll snap at least 10 pictures. And I'll make sure everything looks good. Then I'll even let go of the fish. After I know I got good pictures, I'll let go of the fish and take more pictures. So now my hand's not in the, in the picture at all. The fish is calm. He's staying on the board. I can literally lift it up like this and he's not going anywhere because I let him get tired. After I get all my pictures I need, I'm going to put him back in the net. I'll put him back in that again. I'll put him back in the water as fast as possible. Now that he's safely in the water where he can swim around freely in my net, I'm going to look at my phone and I'm going to check all the pictures to make sure they all look great. Make sure my hand's not in the way, make sure the mouth is closed, um, make sure my identifier is in the picture, make sure they're, they're perfect. As soon as I see they're good, alright, pictures look good, then I'll pull the fish back out of the net. and grow bigger. So that is how you keep a fish on the board, or at least your best attempt to keep a fish on the board in a CPR tournament and win yourself a kayak tournament. 